Kevin here, and I'm back to the podcast. Yay! <laughs> I'm refreshed, re-energized, and ready to go. So we're back from hiatus, and hopefully no more interruptions for a while, and we'll be able to get back to our regular schedule once again. So I'm very happy to say one more time, welcome to Blog Oklahoma. First off, there's a very important date coming up, Tuesday, June 28th. That's the day of the Oklahoma statewide primary election. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, didn't we just do that? Well, yes. <laughs> we had the presidential preferential primary back in February where we voted for your party's nominee for president. And that was pretty well it. <laughs> This time around, though, uh, it's the primary for all other local, state, and federal offices. And in my opinion, this is the more important primary for you to vote in. These are the people who directly represent you. So I encourage you to head to the polls on Tuesday, June 28th, and vote. Now, there's going to be a little hiccup here. <laughs> Statewide, we are all not voting for the same thing. Each voting precinct will basically have their own ballot based on your representative districts and party. So it might be a great idea for you to check ahead to see who's on your ballot, or even if you're voting at all. <laughs> for example, in Beckham County, where I live, I'm a registered Democrat. Well, there is no Democratic primary this time, so I don't have to go down to the polls. But... All of my Republican and Libertarian neighbors do have a primary, so they need to go to the polls on that Tuesday. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to visit ok.gov slash elections. That's the Oklahoma State Elections Board website. That's the official place to go, ok.gov slash elections. And I want you to click on the link that says Online Voter Tool. It's prominently placed on the page, so you're not going to miss it. Next, unfortunately, you're going to need to click one more link to get where you're going. It's just the way they design their website. I want you to click on any of the links that say, Confirm your voter registration, Find your polling place, View sample ballots, or Track your absentee ballot. Now, all of these links go to the same place. I don't know why they did that. Just go with it. <laughs> Next, you're going to see a form, and under the heading Voter Search, I want you to type in your name, now, this is the name you registered to vote under, and your birthday. Then click the search button. If the system finds you right away, you'll be shown the voter information. Now, if you just happen to have the same name and birthday as someone else registered to vote here in the state, they're going to show you a list of names and the, the town you're in. So, just find you in that list. This voter information tells you what precinct and districts you are in, and where your polling place is located. That way you know who your representatives are, your state representative, your state senator, your U.S. representative, even tells you what school board you belong to. <laughs> um, and about uh, halfway on that page, there's a section called Sample Ballots. Now, if you see anything listed there, guess what? You're voting on Tuesday, June 28th. You can click on View and actually read what your ballot's going to be. Now, if you don't see anything listed there, good chance you're not voting. But if you want to be doubly sure or you just want to verify some other information, you can call your local county elections board. Their email, phone number, address, and everything is listed on that very same page. It's near the bottom. And they're going to be very happy to answer your questions. I actually double-checked if I had to vote or not by emailing my, uh, the Beckham County Elections Board. And I'd swear within five minutes I had a reply. So if you don't want to visit ok.gov slash elections or call or email your county election board, just go to the polls on Tuesday, June 28th. That's it. 
<laughs> just go. If you're unsure, it doesn't matter. And if you don't have to vote, they're going to say, oh, you know, we got nothing for you this time. And you just go, all right. And you just go home. <laughs> but if you do, you know, vote. You need to vote in this primary. Very important. So please go vote. Like I said, it's one of the most important things you can do. Please vote. Here are the top five things I did on my podcasting hiatus. Number five, recovered from a flu bug. No fun. <laughs> Number four, fixed our lawnmower and finally mowed our lawn. The weeds were getting quite tall. <laughs> Number three, finally watched Deadpool. Oh, I loved it. Recommend it. Watch it. <laughs> Number two, Completed the May 2016 Instagram Blog Month Challenge. You can view all those posts on Blog Oklahoma's Instagram. And the number one thing I did on our podcasting hiatus is I sold my yellow Jeep. So why did I take my uh, podcasting hiatus? Okay, here's the short answer. And I'm actually fairly open about this. So if you have any questions feel free to ask. I'm available through uh, social media everywhere. We'll have links in the show notes if you want to contact me. So here's the short answer. I was tired, frustrated, depressed, and wanted to do something else for a while. Yep, that was it. That's basically it in a nutshell. Now let me expand just a little bit. Um, by the end of uh, April, I was just pretty well physically and mentally exhausted. I think I took on a little bit too much. Um, I had a client at work. I was working on a big website project for them and we had some issues with the client. I mean, it all worked out in the end, but it didn't work out until like mid May. So, <laughs> but, uh, I had work related stress that I was bringing home. And by the time I got home, I was just exhausted and I didn't want to do anything. But at the same time, I wanted to get out and exercise, but, uh, my frustration and, and tiredness, overruled my desire to go exercise and plus we were going through a period of time there where it was raining every other day so I couldn't go out and play <laughs> so to speak and then Mother's Day happened um, I'm not sure what triggered it but uh, as many of you know I'm still working through the grief of losing my mother a few years ago and uh, something happened on Mother's Day. I really don't know what, but it pretty well triggered a deep depression. And uh, I crawled into a hole and it took me a few days to get out of it. So there was that in May. And it was just about that time when I said, no podcast for a while. I need a break. And it was a good thing, too, because I have a feeling if I'd been trying to keep putting out a podcast during this time, they would be horrible podcasts. And I didn't want to put out a bad podcast. It might be a mediocre podcast, but I didn't want to put out a bad podcast. So I think I made the right call and just said, podcast has to wait. So I took that time. I finally worked through my depression. I finally uh, recharged. I'm recharged and re-energized and everything like that. So June rolls around. And since I've already had the podcast on hiatus a while, I went ahead and I took two extra weeks. And I got to work on something that I've been putting off for a while. And that was the Exploring Oklahoma History website. Um, I finally got its redesign done. And I'm happy to say I launched it a week ago. And everybody seems to like it so far. So if you would like to go view that website, that's at blogoklahoma.us. I hope you like it. If you want to learn something about Oklahoma history and find those historical markers along the highway, that's the website to go to. And also, if you visit any of the Blog Oklahoma family of websites, you're going to see a group of squares up in the upper right corner. If you click on that, you'll get a menu of all the Blog Oklahoma family websites. And I hope you like those too. So that's it. That's why I had to put the podcast on hiatus. I was just doing too much. I had layers of stress, <laughs> layers of depression. I was like that ogre's onion, you know. <laughs> But I finally uh, cut that onion in half, and now I'm happy, recharged, ready to go, ready to do this podcast again, and hopefully we're going to be back on a regular schedule. And uh, again, I hope you enjoy this podcast. So, 
How was your May? This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is, What are you doing over summer? I'd love to read it. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for Web Ring membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just visit and explore the Web Ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. Just head on over to cafepress.com slash blogoklahomapodcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist while we were on hiatus. There is now well over nine hours of music for you to enjoy. You can listen to the playlist on Spotify and on YouTube. I have links to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce as of June 19th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 905 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma, and it's good to be back. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.